Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we're going to be using the fantastic Divi Supreme Modules plugin and we're going to create a pop-up login form with a little floating button on the side here. By floating button I mean it stays where it is when people scroll up and down the site. Really easy to do. So let's get started. Let's close this tab and we'll go to this page and enable the visual builder. While that's loading, let's go to our Divi Supreme Pro. Obviously you need Divi Supreme Pro to be installed before you can do this today. Go down to Divi Supreme Pro, general settings tab. Make sure you've got enable Divi pop-up set to on. Switch that to on so it's purple and save the changes. If you don't do that, this will not work today. So just make sure you've got that switch switched to on. Now the build is loaded. Let's go down and I'm going to firstly create the button, the floating button that we need to use to make the pop up. So I'm just going to add a new module. It doesn't matter where because we're going to use a fixed position on it. I'm going to use a blur because it's got a nice icon with it. For the title, I'm just going to say login right there we'll change the color so you can see it better in a moment and I'll get rid of all the content I just want it to say login for the button now just down below you'll find image and icon I'm gonna hit use icon and find an elegant themes login or padlock type icon something like that or well, let's use that one and there it is right there fantastic okay well let's make this text so we can see it when I hover over it, you'll see this little blue paintbrush. You'll see this for most elements. And if you just click on that, that will take you to the styling for that element, whatever it is, which is an H4 in this case. First thing I do is want to make it light in color so we can see it. We'll put it in the middle so it's under the padlock. I'm going to capitalize it. And I think I'll just take it down a little bit in text size. That's fine. Now I want to take my icon down a little bit because it's too large for me there. So let's go to our image and icon at the top. We're still on the design tab. Don't want to circle my icon. You can if you want to put a circle around it. But I do want to use font size so I can bring it down a little bit in size. So about half the size it is now. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. And what we're going to do, we'll put a background in so there's a background behind the padlock and the login will be just below it. And to make that happen, we need to use a bit of sizing. But let's put our background in first so you can see what's going on. So I'm going to go back to the content tab. I'm going to put a background in. I'm going to make it white, but I'm going to bring the opacity down so it's sort of a dark gray that you can see a difference between it and the black background there something like that fantastic now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the width of this and the height of it so it's about a hundred picks before I do that I'm just going to add a bit of padding all around of say 20 pixels just to give it a bit of space so let's go to design go to spacing and go to padding I'm going to try 20 all around that may be too much And now what I'll do is go down, or up I should say, to sizing just above it. And I'm going to reduce the width to 100 pixels, or whatever you want, 100. As you can see it's popped it over to the left hand side, the default there. And it's 100 pix wide now. I'm going to reduce the height to 100 as well, which should just chop off the background or chop off just before the writing. So let's try that. We can always adjust it if it's not right. So height 100. Great. So we now got our padlock in the little block and we got our login behind. But I want this button to be over on the side here. Or just for fun, let's put it on the left hand side this time. And to do that, we need to go to the advanced tab and down to position. And we're going to choose fixed. And when I click this, it'll disappear to the top left of the screen. There it is up there. 
and we can decide where we want it top middle bottom I'm going to put mine in the middle if you roll down a little bit you can hor horizontally offset it if you need to bring it out from the side or push it in from the side I guess I could do it by say five picks so it's just just off the side I suppose that's fine and the Z index is if you happen to be rolling out the page and something ends up on top of it then you need to increase the Z index because the Z index is basically how forward it is on the site so if this dark background here has a Z index of 4 and this button has a Z index of 3 you won't see the button because it'll be behind it if you change that Z index to 5 you will see it because it'll be above so for our case we don't need to do that everything's absolutely working fine but that's what the Z index is for all right now we'll save that we're happy with that and as you can see it's fixed when I scroll up and down the site it stays there now we need to create the actual login form that we want to pop up from this so again doesn't matter where we put this because it's going to be a pop-up we're not going to leave it here just going to hit the add new module I'm going to scroll down to log in there it is right there I'll pretty much leave the default we'll say log in and let's just put an image behind that background and call it done I'll grab the first one right there that's fine great so there's our login form I'm not going to mess with it any more than that nothing else I really need to do you can style yours however you want to but now we've created it we need to save it to our library so let's just save this if we're happy with everything here and I need to save it to the library so we need to hit this round module right here just to the left of the trash save to library give it a name call it login and now that it's saved to our library we can trash it get rid of it I don't want it there all the time I just want it to appear when people click on it now we need to make our little button pop this thing up and to do that we need to go into the button again actually before I do this what I'm going to do is I'm going to save and refresh this page because if I don't our login form won't appear in my library so let's, let's save the changes and refresh the page and now we should be able to make the magic happen I'm going to go back into this module I'm going to go to advanced I'm going to go down to visibility and if you scroll down you'll see a switch that says use pop-up now if we had not enabled this enable Divi pop-up switch in our Divi Supreme Pro that switch wouldn't be there so that's why it's really important to do that before you do this so I'll flip this to on what do we want it to pop out? Well, we want it to pop up a layout, that layout that we just saved. And that should be in our library now. Had I not refreshed the page just now, you wouldn't have found it in here. Login, there it is. Trigger on module click, yep. Yeah. And if they click anywhere on this module, I want it to trigger it. Trigger it. It's gonna have a close once it pops up outside the pop-up. So if they click anywhere outside, it'll close, that's fine don't want it to auto close you can set a time limit on it if you want it to auto close 10 15 seconds whatever time limit you want there's a fantastic amount of fade in and fade out options that you can use put in what you want pop up position yeah I want it to pop up in the center and I want it to be absolute so it stays where it is I'm gonna leave full width off because it's only a little login I don't need it to be the full width of the screen and the max width is going to be 680 pics which is I find that's fine for most devices it, it's a max width so it can go smaller for cell phones or what have you so that's absolutely fine but change it if you wish it's going to show an overlay which means the background is going to go dark when we do this or whatever color you choose down in your palette down here and I'm going to show a close button now 
by default it puts it on the inside which is fine for me you can change that if you want to obviously you can change the font size of the icon and the icon itself it's using an X by default which is pretty standard for closing a box obviously you can give it background color and icon colors if you want to so we should be good to go here let's save our changes save the page changes and exit the visual builder and here we go now as I'm already logged in I'm going to copy the URL and open this in an incognito tab so we can try test out the login control shift N for a new incognito tab let's paste that in there okay let's try it there it is there's our little form and let's log in fantastic works like a charm so there you have it there's how to create a little floating button with a login pop-up like I say it's always already telling me I'm logged in which I am and when you click anywhere outside it it'll close and it's also got a little X in there to close it that way too nice little feature to have on your site so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesign and tech tips .com. thanks for watching have a great day